Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have another week and another Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25151, which was released to the Dev Channel Insiders on the 29th of June, which was yesterday in my region. Now, unlike last week's build, 25151 does not contain any new features, and that's officially, it doesn't contain any new features, but unofficially, it does have one hidden feature, which we will take a look at near the end of this video. Now, if you are interested, um, just to go through the fixes, because as mentioned, there are no new features. So this is a bug fix update. And just to go through these quickly, File Explorer has two uh, fixes. They fixed the, the scaling issue, which could result in the tabs being unexpectedly large. And right clicking a tab and then clicking somewhere else in File Explorer should dismiss the context menu more reliably now and that's because as mentioned and posted previously um the dev channel now is testing and the beta channel is testing tab support in the file explorer which we are hoping to see roll out in this year's feature update for windows 11 later on this year and then there's a couple of other fixes and um, just to mention some of those um they believe an underlying fix in build 25145 addressed uh, the recent issue where shutting down via the start menu wasn't working for some insiders and that was causing it to unexpectedly reboot instead. They fixed a, a issue with Windows security app crashing and then also um, fixed an issue that caused printing not to work for, for, um, from UWP apps for some insiders in the last two flights. And then there's just a lot of known issues here and I will leave a link to this post down below if you are interested just to go check this out more in depth known issues there's some general for the file explorer widgets um, apparently they're working on a fix for an issue caused causing widgets preferences uh, that's the temperature units and pinned widgets to unexpectedly get reset to default live captions also has some known issues and so on so i'll leave a link to that down below if you are interested now just to get into the unofficial feature that rolled out with build 25151 and this is not a, official and is hidden and which is what we call a hidden feature and it's to do with the um uh, the open with dialog box and um the, as mentioned this is a hidden feature and earlier this year um microsoft released build uh, 22567 which had the more modern um open with dialog box and then it was removed and now in build 25151 it's come back as a hidden feature now obviously on the left is this is how it looks like currently and this is what um, it could possibly look out if and when it does roll out uh, in the future and is currently being unofficially now tested in build 25151. Now, we can see it looks a lot more modern. Um, the visuals are a lot more modern and fluent. Uh, there's better suggestions um, because at, at this stage, you just get other options and then that's more options and then you get suggested apps now. And there's also an option to browse compatible apps in the Microsoft Store, as we can see here, browse apps in the Microsoft Store. And then just to mention some others, apparently it uh, um, also opens uh, with uh, the uh, dark theme. So if you have dark theme uh, enabled, it will adjust to your system theme. And obviously that supports dark and light theme. And then if you don't know, the open with dialog box appears when you right click on any file and then try to open it using a particular app. So that's the new hidden feature that's rolled out with uh, build 25151. And as mentioned at this stage, um, it's not known if Microsoft will officially um, introduce this into up and coming builds, but just wanted to let you know, um, just to keep you informed. And that's with build 25151, um, which rolled out on the 29th of June for this uh, week's dev channel preview build update. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.